So how'd you come up with the grunt proof survival challenge? Lots of alcohol. Lots of alcohol. <laughs> we have a ton of equipment to get set up and ready area recons and final rehearsals and planning before everyone arrives. I am joined this year by Bill from Stokermatic. The winner of last year's challenge. Besides helping to plan and organize the event, Stoker will be designated scout and the hunter's full-time support. Roger HQ. Yeah, I read you, uh, Lima Charlie, okay. a little bit of static over. HQ, this is Hunter. Yeah, I'm still reading you good. A full day is spent conducting area reconnaissance to check for any new or unknown hazards. Jared. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. As the hunter, Jared is allowed to select and use any type of equipment he wants to during this event. And we're also going to be giving him some classes on the radio and GoPro. We're not going to give up. As that fall mountain darkness approaches, we still have one more guy to get up to the house, get equipped, and get trained and ready to go. Tell us. I thought I spelled crayon. <laughs> What's up, brother? How you doing, man? It's nice to meet you, man. Yeah, you too, finally. Stoker, what are hey. you doing, brother? How you doing, How you doing man? Doing, brother? Right. Double dog. Right. Right. There's one final briefing to go through with everyone, both the contestants as well as my team, just to make sure we're all on the same page. As far as the contestants are concerned, the event will begin tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. If you present yourself in such a way, it kind of helps force the narrative. And I, you know. And with a sawing motion, you're just going to go back and forth as fast as you can, and it'll cut right through it. Boom. Brent receives a full on made up mission brief. He is being told he is going out on a basic reconnaissance mission in support of a larger follow-on mission. Hit the light! Hit the light! Yeah, Stop yeah, the buggy! Yeah. Stop the buggy! Get up! Stop! Stop! Don't hey. move! Get Don't down! Get move. down! Don't you move! Get him! Shoot that motherfucker! You! Get out of the buggy!
Keep moving. Let's get this big boy out of this truck. Don't move. Don't move. Fatigue. Confusion. Isolation. The unknown. Hunger and thirst. You have no idea how stoked you're about to get. Those are just a few of the elements that fall under resistance. It's there. Crawl in. Crawl. What are you doing here? What's your intention? Remain. He's escaped. Release the hunter. He's escaped. He's escaped. Without even knowing where he began, Brent now has 24 hours to evade a well-equipped and motivated hunting team, which is controlled by Jared. From his escape point to his extraction point, there's just above a 950-foot elevation gain. However, that's just if you were traveling in a straight line. Given the extreme terrain plus the added element of evasion, Brent will most likely climb a few thousand feet today. I'm gonna go get some Brent. You said you're coming for me. I'm coming for you, dude. You're gonna freeze. Right that way. Well, guys, it's that time. Now, let's just say that this sterile compress is not gonna be sterile much longer. stuff I'm dealing with right now. I've spent more time crawling on my hands and knees and on my belly than I've liked. Uh, but if you guys can see, this is what ends up happening. You get in this big patch of manzanitas and uh, you gotta look for an opening. Like that's my opening right there, a little tiny crevice. So literally the only way through this stuff is just crawling on through. And uh, sometimes you can power on through it, but a lot of it's so thick, it's just impassable.
I've got your attention. Hey, uh, be advised, enemies using psyops tactics against me break. They're uh, enticing me with cold beer and Whataburger over a loudspeaker break. land is fucking beautiful. Point. Jared decides to use his relocation perk. He gets dropped off a lot closer to the end point and he might be sitting in for an ambush. Deploying drone. Time now. How copy? Head northeast again. Just gonna put them right, right in line. In line, yeah. yeah. This is my bird. <laughs> right. After 11 and a half hours, Brent has reached the extraction point. Jared! I'm waiting for you! Jared, you officially suck! <laughs> if you're not first, you're last. The rules of the challenge remain the same. Resist capture and interrogation, and evade to the extraction point without being captured. And if Jared wants to actually win, he must beat Brent's time of 11 and a half hours. Get up!
think, I think he's been using this, his death blade to make his move. So I'm gonna cut, cut an angle on this hill up here and try closing with. Enemy update. Well, that's, that's gonna be 180 degrees. Oh. And I'm gonna call it uh, 200 between 150 and 250 okay so 200 plus or minus 15. okay about uh 200 meters or so 160 degrees from my last location i think because i i moved i, I double timed it i think i'm still ahead of him jared hello i'm coming for you Okay, well that means he's ahead of me now. Look at that guys, so I was just hiking through these, uh, up this mountain over here, or just probably a hill, but, and I made it to the top and we're at trail, so, take this trail, get in front of them, and then, uh, keep on trucking. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. As soon as I ducked down and you called me on the radio there, I saw the, the red quad up there. That peak up there. I'm gonna start making my way up there. Then it's gonna offer, offer a good observation of the surrounding and lower there he is. So there's a radio right around the corner, but I don't know if it's Cadre or the enemy. So I'm gonna go check it out. If it's him, this is gonna be over pretty quick. Brent decides to get light by dumping off his assault bag to me. I'm just gonna pass it off to you. You don't mind? Yeah. He can come in from that direction, he can come in from that direction. 
I'm only one man though, so uh, I don't know how the fuck you made it this this fast, this far. So his best course of action is simply to patrol the extraction point and hope he spots Jared. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> After six hours, Jared has been captured. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was nice. <laughs> awesome, brother. <laughs> Holy shit, that was How awesome. How the fuck did you get over here so fast? Hey, Stoke. Here's to you. Now is the real event. We're getting y'all drunk. <laughs> you think it's over. A simple concept that was once just a drunken idea has become a pretty large production. None of this, however, would be possible without the outstanding support and some badasses who are willing to come out and put themselves through it. I just have to buy time until the next perk. So. Hey, let Randall know I put his sterilized bandage to good use. got his hands on somebody's cock, <laughs> but he's waving his head, yeah. It must be the sailor. I knew you would improvise. And within the first hour, I sat down, they, uh, they gave me some food, and then they lured me to go get a, a brief, a mission brief, and then on the way back, I get captured. So da, 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 da. First, I was going to take that strap hole and stick it in the eye. <laughs> and then I was planning on breaking your neck. Your mom's house. Your mom's house. Yeah, I know exactly where your mom lives. So do we. <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> you know the. You know how big a, a donkey dick can. <laughs> I got a taco truck and I copy. Come get your tacos. Thoughts on the terrain? It's yes. uh, it's rough. It was a bitch. <laughs> like you got to be in, you got to be in pretty decent physical condition to uh, to come out here and take part in, in the sear challenge. It was hard. It was a lot harder than I expected it to be. If you have what it takes to come out here and survive, make sure that you get in touch with Randall at Grunt Proof today before it's too late. Because we need you. We need you out here to see what you have and see if you have what it takes. Stay stoked. Thank you. Appreciate y'all coming out here and taking part in this and also helping. So it's, um, you know, been a blast for me and planning and everything, but wouldn't happen without people showing up to participate. And it, you know, I couldn't run it by myself. So as a thank you, I got some sponsors to kick in some stuff. This is a pretty much self-funded event so the sponsors basically provide us with you know some takeaways for you guys what would have happened if this was a real sear challenge and jared was on the run is that jared back there well let's capture him that smells like victory hey team that's two for the court not just one that's two! I'm ready! Semper Fi! Awesome. 
And if you're interested in learning everything you've seen in this series, be sure to check out the website linked below and find out about the first public seer school.